got a tablet for eight dollars. Eight dollars. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video about how you can save money shopping at your local dist local discount store. Hey, yeah. Okay, period. I don't know about you, but one thing about me, I love to save a coin, okay? And I ain't said nothing but a word. So I'm gonna actually show you guys some of the things I got at my local discount store. Now this type of discount store that I went to is a little bit different from your average discount store. Actually, they're called bin stores. And if you're not familiar with what a bin store is, pretty much what happens is, when a lot of stores like Walmart, Amazon, Target have overstock, that's basically inventory that they don't sell. What they do is they sell them to companies who will buy them in whole or bulk for a very low price. The people who buy the inventory for a low price, what they do is they end up taking the inventory and they either sell it through their liquidation store or even sell them at a local bin store which is also known as a discount store. Bin stores are a little bit different from discount stores because of their layouts. Their layouts are usually <laughs> pretty much bins. It's all in the name. They pretty much put everything in a very long and large bin, and you pretty much have to like go through it and find the items that you like. A lot of times, you can find different type of items, brand new. Most of the items that I've seen are brand new, but some of them are used. One of the main things I love about these type of stores is that they let you open the box and open the item and make sure that everything is in them. Because again, you have to remember, some of these items were returned. Some of these items have never been opened. So you just never really know what you'll find. So far, to be completely honest, I haven't really had any issues with any of the items I've gotten from the bin stores. Probably one or two, but that was really my fault because I didn't really look at the item and I kind of just grabbed it and paid. Um, but other than that, these bin stores are actually pretty cool. Now, the way that they operate is typically on Friday is the biggest days that they get their new shipments. So the best items that you'll ever find at a bin store will be on a Friday. Um, and then every day thereafter, the price goes down. So for example, on Friday, everything might be 8 or $10. And then the next day, it'll be $2 less and then on. So that's pretty much how it works. I have found so many, so many, so many cool items at the bin store. And honestly, I actually like it. It's actually fun for me. It feels like I'm in a treasure hunt, okay? And it's kind of cool because you just never really know what you'll find. So let's go ahead and go into our discount store haul and see what I got. This jewelry box is actually one of the items that I got from the discount store. As you can see, it's in great condition. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Here, earrings, bracelets, and it even has a, a pocket that you can open and put like watches in here or even necklaces or whatever jewelry that you would like to put in here. I got this for $8 and when I looked up the price online, this item is actually going for, this item is actually going for $30. So already I saved $22 on this item. The next item that I got was a ring light. Yes, okay, with my newfound hobby. <laughs> I definitely need a ring light, okay? One thing about vlogging or just taking pictures in general, you need a good ring light. This is actually one of the better ones, okay? And I'll tell you why. One thing I like about this ring light is that it has three different light options, which is um, the super bright and then like the cool and then like the natural light option. It also has um, other colors, like all the colors of the rainbow. It has them in here on this ring light and it comes with a remote. Yes, I love that. 
Also, the quality of this ring light is impeccable. The ring light is actually 12 inches and it's actually worth $40. I actually got it for $8. So already I've saved $32. Next item that I'm going to show you guys is the Raymo Massage Gun X6. Yes, yes. I love massagers. Anything that has to do with massaging, count me in. I love going to the spa. I love getting back massages. I love massage guns. Anything that can just relieve some stress or tension, count me in. And also, I did get in a car accident last year, so, so my back hasn't been the same. So anything with massaging, count me in. I'm all for it. As you can see, this massage gun is not your average or typical one, okay? It actually came with a case and some other things that you can kind of attach to the massage gun. And the massage gun, this actually looks like great quality. Like, as you can see, it looks brand new. I believe it is. Everything is still in the plastic as it came. And again, $8. This massage gun is actually worth $40. So I saved $32 on this item. The next item I can't wait to show you guys is a Rubot vacuum cleaner and this is a wireless vacuum cleaner i love little outdoor helpers or this could even be an indoor helper but i love products like this because one thing about me i'm a kind of a neat freak and i like to vacuum out my car every other day and i also sometimes like to tidy up and i might not want to pull out my whole vacuum so as you can see this is brand new okay this is brand new, $8. I couldn't believe it. All of the items, most of the items that I get are $8 because I go on Friday when I do go because those are when they have the best items, either Friday or, and voila. This is so cute. It is so small and handy. There's no cord. All you have to do is charge it up and vacuum away. And it also comes with some other attachments like I showed you guys before. I'm not going to really open everything, but as you can see, you can attach this to it and kind of like get into little spaces that you can reach without it. This Rubot vacuum machine is actually going for $48. So I saved $40 on this item. So the next item that I'm going to show you guys is a spyware detector. When I first bought this, I thought this was a like cheap, like some type of tracking device you can put in your car. So like if your car ever gets stolen or something, I honestly thought that that's what this was and given that it had a car on it. But after actually opening the product and reading about what it was and looking it up, I realized that this is actually a device that detects if there's any spyware cameras or any type of hidden camera that you don't know about if like in your car like your rental car or like if you go to a hotel or Airbnb and there's cameras like in places where they're not supposed to be this device actually detects it and lets you know so I thought that that was really cool and this is actually a really, really good buy for me because I'm one of those type of people that do like to travel. So this definitely will come in handy for me. Um, again, I got this for $8. It is worth $37. So I was able to save a good $29 on this product. Now, one of my favorite items that I found and it's been such a blessing, such an angel to me now that I'm vlogging is I started to open it <laughs> but it's the Yulani Yulanzi extendable vlog tripod I love this okay when I tell you I love this I mean I love it it actually extends so you can pull it out and it can be used as a selfie stick so you just attach your camera right here or it can be used as a tripod. This is so cool. This is so, so, so cool. It's been so helpful for me, especially with my new vlogging journey. Um, it kind of just lets me record on the go very, very easily. I got this for 
eight dollars and it is worth 24 dollars now i'm not gonna lie i did see on amazon that one seller maybe one or two sellers uh was selling this for 19 dollars at the cheapest but i saw a lot more people selling it for 24 dollars okay so if you remember i mentioned that i got in a car accident last year it was super horrible i got hit by 18 wheeler on the freeway and i had the worst back problems ever. I still kind of deal with it, but you know, I'm working through it and stretching and kind of like doing what I need to do to get better daily. So one of the things that I found super helpful for me are pillows. I had to change my whole mattress. I had to change my whole pillow. And I'm always looking for other things that can help me kind of rehabilitate and get back on my feet 100%. So that brings me to my next item are pillows, yes. I actually got a cervical pillow. This is for your neck. And when I tell you the memory foam, the memory foam on this is like, oh my God. These are like some of the best quality memory foam. These are so, 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 so good. And one thing about cervical and lumbar pillows is that you really never know how good the quality is until you see it in person. Finding good pillows, especially medical supply type of pillows can be kind of challenging because Everybody's advertising memory foam pillows, but you just never know till you get them. So that was such a plus for me. I got both pillows for $8 and they're pretty much going for $30 each. One thing I can say is that orthopedic pillows, medical supply pillows, um, specialized beds like memory foam, can, the good quality type can be very expensive. So when you find them for super cheap, brand new in a plastic at a discount store, you're gonna run with it. The next item I'm gonna show is another one of my faves and it's a vacuum sealer. One thing about me, I love to cook and I need to preserve my food, my fruits, my vegetables. So vacuum sealing actually makes my food last a lot longer. And I've been wanting a vacuum sealer for the longest time. So as you can see, brand new, everything that I get is brand new and Wow, great condition, $8. A Bunsen kitchen vacuum sealer. And I'll actually put like the names of the items in the description. This item is actually going for $33. So I was able to save a pretty good $25 on this. So that's not bad. This next item that I'm about to show you is gonna really make you sick, okay? <laughs> So when I've been to this discount store that I go to, I've met some of the employees there and they do tell me like, we have all types of items. Sometimes we have laptops, tablets, cameras, you never know. But again, it's first come first serve and you just never know what their inventory will be like. So I just happened to go to the store the Friday before Christmas and I got a tablet for $8 eight dollars and let me tell you it's a very cool tablet it's an amazon fire max 11 i actually never heard of these type of tablets until i went to the store but just the simple fact that i got a tablet for eight dollars is kind of cool okay it, it is and it was brand new it is pretty cool and for me i actually was already going to get a tablet because i wanted to use it as like an organizer you know um let's see if this is on I actually kind of already like kind of been using it and now I really really like this tablet because for one I can link it to my Amazon account um, I can use like the audible books and like some of the other movies and stuff that they have I get to see it for free um, it has a lot of cool free features and most importantly um, I already wanted to get a tablet I wasn't gonna get like a super expensive one. I was just gonna get like a basic one so that I can like use it as a daily planner. Put like all my activities or appointments or whatever, just put it in my schedule, my calendar on the tablet. Um, so I thought that was super cool. I've never bought a tablet of any sort for $8, especially with it being brand new. 
So for me, that was a win, okay? And I actually am gonna insert some clips of me while I was at the discount store. Um, just so you can kind of get an idea of what it kind of looks like. But yeah, I'm definitely a fan of Ben Store. I'm, I be going Ben crazy, okay? Like, yes, yes. I'm always for saving a coin, okay? Okay, so the last item that I'm going to show you guys today is my camera stand that I love so much. Um, I actually already put the camera stand together, so I will show you guys what it looks like in a second. Um, but I'm just going to kind of show you like what, what else it came with, I guess. So it came with like this portable, um, camera stand bag. So like when I kind of like, um, I guess when I like fold my camera stand and like put it back into like its original form, it can fit in here. Um... It also kind of came with like different attachments like this one for instance if I was to want to connect my phone to the camera stand so that's pretty cool and it also came with like two of these um, one I'm currently using on my camera right now and uh, this is a backup I love when I tell you I love this camera stand I mean, I love it. Camera stand actually was going for, I believe, $37 or so. Yeah, okay, so I had to check. $37, and it's actually called, the brand is called Jolly Can. Jolly Can. Um, you can get it on Amazon or online. You can go to their website. Um, just give you my honest review. I love this camera stand, okay? I'm going to actually go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. So this is my camera stand and this is what it looks like. I totally, totally love this camera stand. Another thing that I super, super love, um, actually this piece came with my um, selfie stick tripod stand. So that's actually how I was able to connect this to this part. So I'll probably go more into detail about like the specific parts of the camera stand and what came with what in my camera um, in another video. I'm actually going to give you guys a review of the camera that I bought to start my vlogging journey. And I think you guys will like it because I'm one of those type of people, it doesn't matter how much money I have, I still want to save money, period. Like, so, and honestly, I feel like when you're exploring a new endeavor, you don't want to spend or put too much money into it too soon. So I definitely was kind of like, I'm not going to spend over this amount on a new camera and kind of see how it goes. So I definitely have a camera review coming to you guys soon. I'm going to give you guys all the insides and outs of the things I love about my new camera and the things that probably could be a little bit better. Um, but yeah, so that'll pretty much sum up our discount store or bin store haul. Now to the good part, okay? The savings, okay? The savings, okay? Let's talk about how much money we saved because that's really the real gag with this video. The Amazon Fire 11 was actually $280 when I looked it up on Amazon. Another thing that I love about this store is that they have so much stuff. They have bed sheets, they have rugs, they have pretty much anything that you can think of, like it's in that store. Um, so yeah, all together I spent $88. When I went ahead and tallied how much each individual item costed, all together that summed up to $629. So the 11 items that I got was worth $629 and I only spent $88, okay? If that's not a saving, I don't know what is, okay? If that's not a saving, I don't know what is. It's actually funny how I came to learn about bin stores. I went to Chick-fil-A and I was like, you know what, I'm starving, let me grab me a sandwich. And then I see a long line of people who were just lined up at the store and it was literally like 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. And if there was a sale or something, I would have heard about it. So 
I went in and, you know, being nosy, being, you know, being a little nosy, I went inside to see what was going on. And when I went inside, you know, lo and behold, it was a bin store. And I didn't even know what that was or what was going on. And it's actually so funny because <laughs> I had put a few things in my cart because you got to remember, it's a lot of people, it's a lot of stuff that are coming out. <laughs> items are worth hundreds to maybe you know under a hundred dollars but there's a lot of savings going on so people are kind of losing their minds in that store so I had literally a cart full of stuff that I worked so hard to find and this lady came out of nowhere so I had actually left my cart to the side and I left it alone because they had like more stuff coming out so i just walked over to see what else they had coming out and i'm i didn't know people stole at these type of stores or i didn't know it, it was that treacherous like you know what i'm saying so i walk over to see what came out and i come back to my cart and my cart has been ransacked they took all my stuff like they took all my stuff so i literally had to start all over again one thing that i can say that i like about the store is me being the crybaby that i am i went and told the one of the managers like somebody stole my stuff like you know what happened and they were like oh no we don't play that over here like if people touch your stuff we kick them out so they actually looked at the cameras and found the lady who took my stuff and told me go take your stuff back from her so i did i definitely did unfortunately she didn't have all my stuff but she had a couple things that i really liked in my cart that i took back so <laughs> That's another thing about these stories. They can get a little, they can get a little aggressive in there, okay? It's a lot of savings going on, but that was my first time going there, and that was, I guess, a rookie's mistake because I didn't know I wasn't with the programs. So, as you can see, I am a fan of bin stores. I love bin stores, discount stores. I even like going thrifting every once in a while. I'm just one of those type of people that, you know, it doesn't matter like how much my budget is, I still want to save a point. And that's exactly what i did <laughs> yeah so um if you like this video definitely comment below if you want to know more about how to find these bin stores near you or these discount stores near you maybe i can make another video and give you guys some tips on how to find them so yeah like subscribe and comment and i will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>